the beginning of November 2015. It is a warm and sunny autumn day in South Bend. The semester at the University of Notre Dame has already begun and the campus is buzzing. Today is a special day. A long-awaited visitor is on her way to the Nanovic Institute for European Studies. Her name is Antonina Akseneva. She is the adopted daughter of the famous Russian writer Eugenia Ginsberg. Antonina has brought her mother's archive from Russia that will serve to further the expansion of the Ginsberg Akseneva collection at the Nanovic Institute. Antonina Akseneva, a former actor, has lived in Frankfurt, Germany for many years. She stages plays and musicals with children and teenagers at the Russian German school. Furthermore, she collects documents and archive items concerning the life of her mother, who spent over 17 years in the Soviet Gulag and in banishment. The idea of building up an archive of the writer Ginsberg is down to Simeon Landres, who contacted Antonina and suggested it to her. The story goes back two years ago when I first made contact with Antonina through a friend of ours, mutual friend in Vienna. And I knew of Antonina, of course, after reading her mother's book, uh, second volume especially, but I didn't realize she, she exists, she is still alive, and especially I didn't realize that she lives outside of the former Soviet Union. When I realized that she's in Frankfurt, I was very delighted and very quickly got in touch with her. I like her instantaneously with talk on Skype. And uh, I explained what I'm doing here, what we are trying to collect. I told her that uh, I've been here for then 13 years. And every year I teach Soviet history or 20th century Russian history. I sign Ginsburg's memoirs and it works very well with students. So. I think I managed to convince her that Notre Dame would be a good place where she could deposit her mother's papers. У меня собрались архивы, касающиеся моей матери Гене Гинзбург. Я хотела, очень долго думала, в какие руки их отдать. И появился такой университет, в котором я сейчас нахожусь, который взял эти рукописи. Вот пусть они тут живут. А, и ими будут без, э, пользоваться люди, все будет открыто. Так что я считаю, что я правильно поступила. Детство было ужасно. The collection is curated by Natasha Landres and Ken Kinslow. The university employees are proud that this collection is considered a unique project worldwide that accommodates both Eugenia Ginsberg's literary work as well as her suffering in the Soviet Gulag. Ну, это я привезла из Магадана. Это серпантинка, где всех расстреливали. Мы там были в прошлом году. 14-м. Это кусок крыши, который делали арестанты из того дерева. Это, наверное, ель, что ли, из того дерева крепкая. Крыша на бараке. А это вот растет еще уже в таком вырожденном виде пшеница, которая в Ильге не росла, которую сажала тоже заключенная. Как-то она доехала класс. In seminars and courses, Antonina Aksenova has given to the interested and curious students a glance into the life of her mother and her long research into the Soviet Gulag system. And I think it's a great resource for our students and for scholars worldwide who have any interest in, um, in the history of the Soviet Union, in the history of communism, and of course uh, many other aspects, history of Gulag, uh, women's history and so on, to come here and 
uh, look at this wonderful collection, especially since Ginsburg's work is so widely known and translated into numerous languages. Я в Россию и не думала их отдавать, потому что я просто не верю в то, что там это будет открыто, что там это будет им хорошо. Это мои архивы, поэтому у меня даже мысли такой не было, потому что у меня есть опыт уже по поводу этого дела. What made the greatest impression on Antonina Aksenova in Notre Dame was the closeness to the students, their openness and their curiosity about the personal aspects of history. Здесь люди замечательные. Они очень доброжелательные, они очень четкие. Они относят... Тут вообще атмосфера потрясающая, просто потрясающая. И я думаю, что это хороший дом, в котором будут жить эти архивы. Thank you.